You know what's more insane than slaughterhouses? Places made to torture and, ex and murder living innocent beings? Meat eaters walking around like their lifestyle cost no suffering. That it is normal and national to cost extremely amounts of harm to innocent beings who have nothing harmed you or have harmed anybody ever in their whole life. Giving something like 70% of all the food to land animals, to livestock that are commodified in the slave any year something like 70 billion land animals, pigs, turkeys, cat, uh, tu uh, pig, turkeys, goats um, and other animals only to satisfy one addiction of greed and murder. Vegans, we are the defenders. You, you only have your violent traditions, beliefs, and habits. It is time to watch it around the victim's point of view. Because how can you justify it from the position of the victims? The pigs, the turkeys, the cows, etc. They don't want it. They want to be free. So how dare you to force your beliefs on them? Force your habits on them? Peace begins with the dignity, people. When comes the day that people finally understand the immortal words of Dante? The life of a lamb is no less precious than that of a human. How more helpless one creature is, how more it deserves protection from humans from the cruelty of humans. All the rainforests that have been cut are in reality cut only for places to make for livestock and for every business, small livestock uh, for chattel or ranching. Any day, once for well, area with a size of New York City, something like uh, two thousand, uh, something like uh, two hundred forty thousand acres of rainforest. I cut. And these species that are li I live are bring to extinction. Be you aware that the only reason that there is life possible on this planet is because of diversity between species. All species are connected to each other and therefore no same species will break in such a rapid tempo, the diversity of species more than 40 species will be distinct any day. According to which estimates you want to believe.
Be aware that when the pollinators disappear, like bees, like butterflies, that the whole ecosystem collapses and that there will not grow fruits anymore, not grow plants, and most of the other, the other species will disappear. That's how important pollinators are. If you see a uh, diminishing of phytoplankton will disappear. Or if the, if the phytoplankton will disappear from the sea, they make something like 70% of all the oxygen on the earth. Then, no life is possible on this planet. And that's a fact. Not a fact. If humans are disappear, and things will come better. The sky clean up, the waters will uh, clean themselves. The forest will heal. The symbiotic relationships in nature will recover. So, if humans are the only one that's being dispensable, so why in the hell do humans think that they are so special? And that they have the right to commercialize, exploit, and kill or murder so much innocent living beings. Animals, just like blacks, just like women, are not here on this planet to be commercialized. Exploited, raped. Any year, mother cows are raped, and then their children are stolen away from them. You don't can say that you've been against some kinds of rapes only because of when it mean human, or only because when it been whites. You know that's discrimination. Discrimination is on attitudes are biased in favor of somebody's group. The group can be a race or sex or one nationality or etc. And discrimination is always evil. And it is evil to pick and choose which kinds of discrimination you like because it is in your favor. That's injustice. There is no ar counter argument against veganism. Accept it. I'll apologize for the way you have living. Make amends and move forward.